Like and subscribe, family. The ancient Greeks left black people some of the greatest historical records exposing the true origin of black people. However, because the Greeks are presumably a white race, or at least as modern day academia would have us believe, black people never gave the Greek voice a fighting chance to enlighten them. But what if I told you the Greeks were in fact black? Ludicrous, right? Well, this isn't ludicrous at all. According to the ancient Egyptians of Kemet and the Greeks themselves. However, many scholars have hidden these facts to maintain their reputation and their beloved system of white supremacy through institutional racism. Though the honorable and well-venerated scholar Frank M. Snowden Jr. has proven the Greeks were black. His works have gone unnoticed as his position does not ameliorate the system of white supremacy. Concerning these matters of the Greeks accounts, your ancient ancestors gave this story to the Egyptians of Kemet, knowing they would in later years give it to the Greeks where it would be safely preserved until this history came back to you. If the Egyptians kept this story, it would have been destroyed and hidden, but due to the successful cover-up of Greece's origin by institutional racism, the need to hide such is irrelevant. They just simply write off the Greeks' history as mythology. But this simply isn't the case. Our historical records were recorded in the ancient lore. Note, in these stories, the Egyptians told the Greeks that the Greeks were ignorant of their true origin, stating that they were the leftovers of the most noblest and most perfect race amongst men who were born in Greece. So Plato, in his book Timaus, verifies that the Greeks are the descendants of the ancient peoples of Athens, Greece. Strabo, the renowned Greek historian, in his historical work Geographica, says that Greece was a Moorish colony and that their tribal names like Dremis, Kothis, Kodras, and many more were Moorish names, which also verified the Greeks were indeed Moors even stating that the Greeks of his own time period were in fact Moors, naming the Greeks Macedonians, Thracians, Aetolians, i.e. the Turks, and many more, as not just Moors, but calling them the Aperiodic tribes. Note, neither Plato nor Strabo used the name Moor directly. Rather, they used the name Barbarian, which according to Plato, were the people of Atlas and Atlantis. While according to Strabo, Barbarian referred only to the people of Atlas, as Atlantis during his time was thought to be underwater. As confirmed by Strabo's map, which omits Atlantis, in every part of Africa below Morocco and Egypt. Plato and Strabo both confirm that Atlas is the Greek's name for Northwest Africa, but Strabo made the true identity of the barbarians irrefutable when he stated that the Greeks referred to the people of Northwest Africa as Marusians, but made it even more impossible to ever argue by making it clear that the people of Northwest Africa called themselves Mori. Mori was the name of the people of Northwest Africa, whom the Romans referred to as Mori as well. But according to the Oxford's Byzantine Dictionary, they acknowledge that the word Mori is not only another word for barbarian, but that the Morty are indeed the Moors. This completely contradicts the force-fed position of institutional racism, as they say 
The Moors started in 711 AD as a mixed group of people, but the Greek historians say differently. Since the barbarians are confirmed by the Greeks to be the Moors, and there's no source for barbarian that predates the Greek word barbarian, this not only proves that the Greeks created the word barbarian, but proves also that the barbarians of ancient Greece, as stated by Plato and Strabo, were in fact the Moors. Let me explain. On one hand, Strabo verifies that Greece was a Moorish territory before the Greeks' existence, and that the Greeks were descendants of the Moors who were living in Greece before the time of Greece. And on the other hand, Plato also verifies the Greeks descended from the first people of Greece, just as Strabo does. In fact, they both state the Greeks' ancestors are no one other than the barbarians, i.e., that's right, the Moors. Thus, the Greeks are irrefutably Moors. And anyone who would dare argue that the Greeks didn't know their own ancestral history and who their ancestors were can kick rocks because the barbarians, according to the Greeks themselves, were the people of the land now called Morocco. And according to the Greeks, those people in Morocco, which they called barbarians, called themselves Morty. And Morty, according to the Byzantine Oxford Dictionary, without a doubt means more. So wouldn't this mean that the Moors existed before 711 AD? Wouldn't this mean that the Moors were a nation of people? The Greeks later called these Moors Morushian. And Morocco at that time was called Morentania, according to the people who lived during that time. So now that we know the Greeks are in fact family, not colonists, but in fact family of the same lineage we are, let's listen to what our Moorish brothers and sisters had to say about us Moors living here in Amorica. Let's listen to our family, not our enemies. They will always lie to us because that is the only trick they have. It's time to wake up and smell the Morris family. Remember to like and subscribe. But in closing, if the Greeks and everyone in that area were Moors, who are those so-called white people they're today claiming to be Greek, Turkish, ETC. Until next time.